Hi everyone, this story is called Parsnip the Painter. Autumn had arrived in Foodland and the weather was cold, wet and miserable. Parsnip was watching the rain pour down outside through his kitchen window. I'm glad I'm in the warm, he thought to himself, and he put the kettle on to make a nice hot cup of tea. Lovely. Whilst drinking his tea, Parsnip looked all around his house. All of the walls were painted the same colour. Magnolia! Ugh! What a boring colour. Parsnip was fed up of looking at the same coloured walls every day. Time to redecorate, he smiled. So he decided to visit Pear's paint shop. Pear was busy stacking his shelves with paint pots when Parsnip walked in. Morning, Pear, said Parsnip. I need your help. What's the problem? asked Pear curiously. Well, all of my walls at home are the same colour, magnolia, and I want to paint them a different colour, but I don't know which one to choose. I see, pondered Pear. Well, it all depends on the colours of your furniture and cupboards and all of the other things that you have in each room at home. You ideally want to pick a colour that matches in with them. Good thinking, replied Parsnip. Then Pear had an idea. Why don't you focus on one room at a time? Which room do you spend the most time in? He asked. The kitchen, replied Parsnip. OK, then. Think of all the things in your kitchen and the colours that they are. So Parsnip closed his eyes and thought about his kitchen. Well, my tablecloth is blue and so too is my toaster and kettle, come to think of it. That's good, replied Pear. Why don't we try these tester pots? There are many different shades of blue to choose from and you can pick your favourite from them. Thank you, smiled Parsnip. And he went home to test out his different shades of blue on the kitchen wall. Eventually, he made a decision. Perfect, he said, and dashed back to the paint shop to tell Pear about his decision. That's a good choice said Pear as he handed over the pot of blue paint. Good luck! Back at home, Parsnip prepared his kitchen for painting. Everything was covered over and packed away. Now he was ready to paint. It didn't take him long to paint his kitchen walls. After that, Parsnip went in every room in his house to pick out different coloured items. He was going to paint the walls all different colours so that no two rooms were the same. What a good idea! Back at the paint shop, Parsnip gave Pear a long list of different coloured paints he wanted, and Pear quickly found all the paints. Thank you, smiled Parsnip happily, and he dashed home quickly. Parsnip painted his bedroom green, his bathroom red, and his living room brown. The hallway was purple, and the study was orange. Parsnip had painted his house using all the colours he could think of, apart from one, pink. Now, do you know what Parsnip used the pink paint for? The front door, of course! Ha <laughs> ha! Once he had finished painting, Parsnip invited his friends to come round and see what he had done. Everyone was very impressed, especially Pear. It was the most colourful house he had ever seen. Soon, Parsnip was asked if he could paint some rooms in some of his friends' houses too. And they asked him to pick the, pick the colours too. P wanted a break from his green coloured house. So Parsnip came round and suggested a shade of purple to brighten the place up a bit. The end result was a beautifully coloured hall and living room. P was very pleased with it. Next, Carrot asked Parsnip to paint his orange coloured bedroom. I know, thought Parsnip, and he picked up a toy car from the carpet. What about a light shade of blue? Maybe two different shades of blue. Let's try it, he said. Carrot's bedroom was transformed. Carrot couldn't believe his eyes. Parsnip had made Carrot very, very happy indeed. Thank you, Parsnip, he beamed. Then he painted Pudding's kitchen red and white, he painted Bacon's bathroom silver and Mr. Mash's boat was gold. It wasn't just houses that he was asked to paint now. One morning, Parsnip had a phone call. It was from Mr. Soup. Hello, Parsnip. We'd like you to paint the school, he said. All of it. Ha <laughs> ha! And that's the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time.